Hi everybody, welcome back to AQ Canine Online. Thanks for joining us. Honestly, since that last video got posted, I have not had this dog on the longboard at all. Life's been crazy and we've been doing other things. So again, the whole point is to document the process of what this is gonna look like. We live in Minnesota, it is solid ice, it's snow outside, so all of the training has to be done downstairs in a limited area. He is very comfortable getting on it still because he's had lots of experience getting on and off things his entire puppy. And I'm gonna pay him for that. I'm gonna see if he's gonna get his other foot up there. Get up there. Yes, good boy. So then what I wanna do today and I haven't attempted this before, is what I want to do with him since he's so confident is see if he'll get on it when it's moving. There's several different components I want to teach to this, but I want to see if he'll kind of start to hop on if I'm slowly pulling it. So I am going to tell him to go get this cookie back here. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Get on, Brems. Get up there. Get up there. Good boy. There you go. Good boy. Nice job, buddy. Good boy. I'm gonna back up so he can shift his weight both ways. Good boy. Awesome. Good boy. Good boy, Brems. Good boy. So if I pull it again, I just want to around that axle. Yeah. Nice job, buddy. Right there. Right there, good. And I don't know if you guys remember that first video, he was really wanting to stand on that front section of the board and we don't want that. And for whatever reason in the last three, four weeks, however long it's been, that's just kind of went away. So that's awesome. Good boy, ready? Go get it, go get it. Get up, Rums, get up, get up there, get up there. Good, get up there, get up there. Good boy, nice. Nice job. Good boy, Brams. Good boy. Good. Yeah. I'm gonna go a little faster this time. Good boy. You can see how his body has to lean. He's, he's gotta figure out his balance. This again, I cannot stress to you, a core component of this is a BOSU ball and some of the other things that I've had him balancing on. I'll get a video up of him on the BOSU ball upside down because I think that is like the ticket to this exercise. Bremies, ready? Go get it. So I'm gonna push that back again. Get on there, get on there. Yeah, good boy. That's awesome. Okay, I wanted to cover that next, but clearly he went there because I wanted to make sure he'd push it. So really, that's, that's all I really want him to be comfortable with. I want him to be comfortable with this thing. If it's standing still, if it's moving forward, I don't want him to be nervous about it at all. I am using a combination of hot dogs and brown schweiger and leftover pork chops with this. Brems, get on there, get up there, get up there, get up there. No, get up there. Good boy, get up there. Good boy. Nice, back up. Back up, or sit, that'll work, it's okay. I want him to be okay with his body on there. I know you guys can tell that time a little bit, he was just a little bit less sure about hopping on it. Um, and I don't wanna ever push it. I don't wanna push the dog too far, so I'd rather stop while I'm ahead. Good job. We're gonna try one more time. Oh, this is brown Traeger. I am not throwing this in my house, not happening. Come here, come here, good boy, oops. Get up there, get up there, get up there. Good boy, yeah, awesome. The key to things like this, when you do props, and I've noticed this with several things in dog training, sometimes just taking a break from it and not doing it for a couple of days if the dog seems stuck, which he wasn't, but if your dog were to be, put it away for a couple of days or a week and then bring it back out. I'm gonna do a little bit better job posting more videos of this, but just so you know, this is officially lesson two on the longboard. Stay tuned, I can't wait to see how he takes to this in the spring when we actually don't have snow on the ground here. Bye.